Recently, Tesla Inc.'s CEO Elon Musk confirmed ambitious plans to scale the production of its humanoid robot, known as the Optimus Gen 3, aiming for output in the range of 500,000 to 1 million units in the near future. The latest iteration of the robot features a substantially refreshed design. Its outer shell now has smoother contours, fewer exposed wires and visible joints, and a design language that shifts away from a boxy, clearly experimental look and toward a rounder, more finished aesthetic, giving it a more approachable, friendly appearance rather than something that feels like a prototype. Beyond the visual redesign, Optimus Gen 3 is said to be equipped with the voice assistant system from XAI, Grok 5. This allows it to respond to spoken questions. Although the response time still shows noticeable latency and the answers are somewhat hesitant or awkward, this marks a meaningful improvement over earlier versions. What many may not realize, however, is that Tesla is placing heavy emphasis on perfecting this Gen 3 version with the expectation that it will debut by the end of the year, and that it is planned to incorporate upgrades that may take previous versions, such as the earlier Unit G1, several more years to match. In terms of capability upgrades, Gen 3 is being designed to expand the range of practical functions significantly, with a focus on household roles like cooking and cleaning, which go far beyond what the current generation can handle. Musk argues that because the world is fundamentally built for human-shaped beings, objects, tools, environments all defined around humans, a robot that truly performs like a human must itself share a human-like form, especially the hands. Musk emphasizes that the human hand is a marvel of evolution, with over 27 degrees of freedom and a tendon-driven mechanism controlled by forearm muscles. Thanks to it, humans can swing baseball bats, thread needles, play piano, assemble cars. No other part of the body matches the dexterity of the hand. If the goal is a truly versatile robot, solving the hand problem is essential. Musk observes that many other robotics companies may have machines that walk, run, jump, even play table tennis. But they still can't build a hand that can peel an orange or wash vegetables under running water, the tasks humans actually care about. To appreciate the potential of Optimus, it's useful to imagine it in a kitchen. Cooking a simple meal, say bacon and eggs, involves walking to the refrigerator, identifying the ingredients, picking up eggs without breaking them, turning on a stove, grabbing a pan, cracking eggs, adding oil, stirring, timing everything correctly. That kind of workflow demands a seamless blend of dexterous hands, cognitive intelligence, real-time coordination, and environmental awareness. If Optimus can truly cook, it signals it has crossed from being an industrial robot to becoming a device that integrates into human life. How can Optimus operate continuously for up to 20 hours? At the most recent event, we saw a gold edition of the robot described as having an intelligent brain powered by Grok 5, the latest large language model from XAI. In this new version, Optimus can respond to spoken questions with some lag, and the hardware has been designed for high autonomy. For example, the robot is said to be equipped with a high-efficiency wireless magnetic resonance charging system plus automatic alignment. It can stand upright, remain operational, and recharge wirelessly without human assistance. Tesla reportedly built a 10 kilowatt magnetic resonance charging station with up to 95% transfer efficiency, approaching wired levels. When the robot needs a short break, it can automatically position itself on a charging pad embedded in the floor and recharge via resonance coils in the pad and the robot base, much like placing a smartphone on a wireless charger but industrial scale. With just five minutes of charging, it can reportedly operate for up to four hours of continuous work. The main battery pack uses the Tesla 4680 cell format with around 2.5 kWh capacity, optimized for humanoid form factor, giving high energy efficiency in a small footprint. Thanks to advanced thermal management, this pack can fully recharge in roughly 10 minutes, offering supercharger level speeds scaled down for a humanoid platform. The robot is claimed to autonomously align itself with the charging dock with centimeter-level precision, using a rear camera to detect the nearest wall-mounted charging station, 
Stereo vision and autonomous parking algorithms calculate trajectory. It reverses into position. The spring-loaded contacts and magnetic couplers create secure physical interface. Mechanical guide rails help with alignment, even if slightly off-center. During charging, the robot leans into the dock via its back-mounted port. This dual electromechanical interface also enables passive cooling for internal electronics. Additionally, the system dynamically adjusts sensor power and processor speed during light workloads to extend runtime. And in a multi-robot environment, different units negotiate charger access based on battery level and task priority, avoiding docking conflicts. If battery level drops below 5%, the robot can switch into power-saving mode, navigate to the nearest dock, or fall back on an integrated supercapacitor to complete critical operations and power down safely. Although Elon Musk has limited prior experience in robotics compared to other domains, Tesla has leveraged its electric vehicle manufacturing know-how to mass-produce the Optimus at surprisingly low cost, quoted at about $10,000 per unit, by sharing components with Tesla vehicles, batteries, motors, sensors, actuators, cameras, and other parts are manufactured in-house by Tesla. By using its EV supply chain and large-scale manufacturing lines, e.g., at Giga Texas, Tesla streamlines operations and cuts costs. On the software side, the brain of Optimus inherits intelligence from Tesla's full self-driving system, the Dojo supercomputer, and Musk's other AI ventures, such as Grok and XAI. Musk has emphasized that Tesla is positioned to build the most advanced humanoid robots globally, comparable to C-3PO from Star Wars, and that manufacturing mastery gives Tesla a large lead over competitors. In Musk's view, Tesla already has all the necessary components to create a versatile, large-scale humanoid robot. The remaining challenge is training, data collection, and performance refinement. According to Musk, the company just needs one more year to fully achieve this vision. By 2026, Tesla plans to begin selling Optimus robots, capable of performing virtually any task users require. Optimus is envisioned not just as a machine, but as a companion robot, smarter than ChatGPT, backed by massive knowledge and real-world data, able to answer any question and even use body language and gestures to illustrate responses as showcased at the YI robot event last October. In Tesla's update videos from late last year, the robot was shown performing basic household tasks such as watering plants, carrying groceries, cleaning kitchens, and bringing items from the car into the house. Tesla introduces Optimus as a companion robot designed to assist safely with everyday tasks from childcare to elder care. Now Optimus can even hold natural conversations, befriend seniors, and help educate children through interactive capabilities. These features illustrate the potential for seamless integration into everyday life, showing it's far from just another industrial robot. But let's be honest. Despite all of this sounding incredible, many people still struggle to imagine a robot truly working in homes, schools, or nursing facilities. Will it trip and fall? Will it run out of battery mid-task? Does it still need human supervision? There are lots of questions, and it's understandable that people remain skeptical or even fearful about safety. How exactly will a Tesla robot care for children? Can we trust it in sensitive environments? Clearly, there are still many concerns that need to be addressed. In the comments section of the announcement video, many have noted that while the robot looks visually refined, its walking speed and movement still lag behind expectations. For example, Although Tesla aims for a walking speed of 8 km h, the current machines appear to move more slowly, perhaps around 3 km h, and the gait still appears somewhat awkward, hunched over, or stiff. Frankly, no one will spend money on a robot that moves slower than a turtle, so there's quite some disappointment with its speed. Critics argue, will these movement and speed limitations hold back mainstream adoption, or will future updates address them successfully? In one recent interview, Musk said that Optimus Gen 3 will be launched this November with major updates. The most notable being the major redesign compared to the existing Gen 2.5 version. According to Musk, 
Gen 3 will be able to perform up to 100 extended tasks per day and 3,000 independent tasks overall, with a maximum operating time of up to 22 hours per charge. He predicts Optimus will be able to cook daily meals, clean houses, work in factories, deliver at restaurants and convenience stores, essentially act as a truly independent entity. In terms of pricing, the earlier flat US $20,000 price may change. Instead, it's expected that pricing will depend on version and task capabilities chosen. Musk has said the new hands and arms are the biggest challenge. Manufacturing thousands or millions of those arms will be 100x harder than literally building an EV car. He admitted engineering Optimus is harder than the Model X, harder than the Cybertruck, and harder than building a Gigafactory, but still easier than building a Starship. Yet the company continues to invest heavily to improve the hands. In the latest design, we can clearly see much more refined hands than previous versions.